So today we're going to be testing out Lovable, which is an AI coder that we can test out, see how it performs when it comes to creating websites, apps, tools, content creation, etc. And we'll compare it side by side versus Bolt as well, so you can see how to compare it. Additionally, we'll be testing out in terms of connecting it with Superbase, which basically means that you can build databases and then connect them directly inside Lovable or inside Bolt. Now, if you haven't checked out Lovable already, you can get it at lovable.dev, as you can see. And then from here, we can, for example, use these template prompts just as a startup. So we can say, for example, help me get an overview of my crypto assets by making an app that uses a coin gap API for data, has the top 50 crypto assets, etc. Right now, if we hit enter, this is a default prompt from Lovable just to test out and show you exactly how it works. It's pretty simple and easy to use, like you can see. And then from here, it's going to go off and start coming up with the ideas. So you got the design inspiration, the features for V1, design elements, etc. What we can also do as well is if you want to compare these side by side, let's take this exact same prompt and plug it into bolt.new and we can see, okay, what do they both come back with? That's beginning to build out the assets inside the portfolio right here. Now you might be wondering at this point, okay, what would you use it for? Let's say, for example, you're an SEO. You can create tools with this. So internal tools, you can create tools that would actually rank on Google. So for example, if you go into Google autocomplete, you can do the keyword research for free and then you can type in AI tool for. And you can find a bunch of tool related keywords you can actually rank for, right? So for example, if you're using something basic like bolt.new or lovable, you might use, for example, AI tool for presentation or AI tool for research. Like they would be quite easy to create using lovable. And then you can rank for them directly. And here's what's pretty wild is this worked straight off the bat, right? So we've got the crypto assets right there. We've got Bitcoin. If we actually go and check the price of Bitcoin, it says 95,153. If we go back onto Lovable, you can see the price of Bitcoin is not exactly the same, but it's pretty much there, right? You've got the 24 hour change there, along with all the other relevant crypto coins. That was super simple and easy to do. Now, if you go to Bolt as well, you can see that it's created exactly the same. Now, what's amazing about this is it basically worked first time round, right? These inner pages don't seem to work so well, so there's no price history right there, but you can see that it's created a simple sort of crypto portfolio tracker in the space of minutes we didn't need to code we didn't need to pay anyone to code for us you can actually get free versions of lovable and bolt the only problem with lovable's free version is it's quite limited i think you could create maximum one project for free each month and then you're gonna have to pay for it whereas on bolt you get a bit more flexibility in terms of what you get for free and also it's just easier to deploy so you can just hit deploy over there and it's pretty simple let's see what happens on lovable All right so i know it's super easy to deploy on Bolt. And there we have the project published in the space of minutes, right? And something that might take someone like months before pre-AI and all that sort of thing. You can now do it in minutes using Bolt. Honestly, the UI differences are quite minimal. Let me pull them up side by side. You also see that this is responsive too, but this one actually, I just saw it update a second ago. So I think it's updating in real time, which is pretty wild. Honestly, they're pretty much the same though, right? They look almost identical. This tiny little UIs. I know that Bolt seems to come up with a nice little logo and the name of the website right there, but they're both usable. They're both ready to go. And that was easy and simple to do. Now you might be wondering at this point, okay, how do you leverage this for your business or for your website? There's so many use cases here, right? Anything you can imagine, you can basically build now as long as you keep it relatively simple. You don't want anything too complex. So for example, like ranking new websites with SEO and the exact match domain method that works really well. Here's an example of a website we built and published using that method. What you can also do is target low competition keywords. So here's another website we built out. This was with Bold, but you can do the same thing inside Lovable as well. The UI is pretty much the same. You can build out new tools and you can either embed them to your site. Like you can see right here, we actually have this AI keyword clustering tool that we embedded to our website. All you do is you just get it deployed and then ask the AI editor for the iframe code. And then you just plug that into WordPress or Shopify or wherever you embed in it. And then you can also rank for tool related keywords. So like I was saying before, let's say you're in the real estate niche, you can type in real estate and then you can put, for example, real estate tools for, and for example, you could create some real estate tools for agents, create the content around that, create the tool inside lovable and either embed it to your existing website or create an exact match domain to rank for that too. Same for investors, buyers, agents. Also, when you're embedding the tool and giving it away for free on your website, that means you can rank for more niche and long tail keywords, like for example, real estate tools for agents free, right? Or free 
real estate agent tools, something like that. Then you can also build new apps, just like we built the cryptocurrency app, like you can see right here. Pretty amazing that you can just build and deploy that in minutes. So obviously, you want to test it, quality control it. You know what AI is like. It can make things up. It can mess things up. It's prone to hallucination, very prone. So make sure you do check this stuff before you publish it and give it away to the public. And then also branded keywords, quite a good one as well. Additionally, reputation management. Let's test another one now. So now we're going to go with Hacker News Top 100. And we're going to create an app showing today's top 100 stories from Hacker News using the... And here's the thing, right? If you use the default prompts from Lovable, it actually tells you which API to use. But if you can go out there and find that API, then it seems like you can create stuff that's not just static, but actually gets updated based on the API data. So for example, if we use the Algolia HN API, then that will fetch the news from Hacker News, right? And so if you have an API in mind that you want to use and you can connect it with Lovable, and then you can update things in real time using the data from here. It'd be quite interesting to see, for example, could you get the address API and then build an SEO tool and use that, and use that API to create something really cool that's more custom made for whatever SEOs want. Now we have the Hacker News Today website. And I'm showing you these examples really to just show you like how creative you can get with this, right? So you can create something super basic, like a one page exact match domain with a tool embedded. And to some people, that's where they're gonna stop. But the only limit here is your imagination. So if you have some ideas of like APIs, you can actually connect directly to Lovable. Then you can see right here, you can update and stuff in real time. You can create really cool websites. And that's pretty amazing. And all these links seem to work as well directly. Now you might be wondering like, how can you add some custom instructions inside it? So you can go back and forth within the chat or you can manage the knowledge section right here. So you can see inside the manage knowledge section, you can add custom context and instructions for the project. And then for every edit, it will use those specific rules and guidelines. You can set, for example, like coding style preferences, external documentation, etc. And like I mentioned earlier, you can connect this to Superbase, which means you can call third party APIs. So how that works is you create a Superbase account. I think it's quite limited. You probably get about five calls for free if you're doing it on a free account. Otherwise, you have to pay. Then you create a new project in Superbase. And from there, you just connect it to Lovable, like you can see right here. So you can add, for example, multiple different organizations. And then if you click on create a new project, from here, we can connect to database. That's going to take a while to load, but basically it's going to set up the project right here. Now, once you set up the project, you can then go inside Superbase, connect to a project, and then just select the project that we just created, for example, like testing, and you can connect your own databases. Here's an example. So this is from Noor. If we check out this example built with Superbase, let's play it. What you can see here is you can basically have a login page. So for example, let's say you create a SaaS tool or you've got a payment gateway, etc. You can have a login page right here. And this is great for like lead generation as well. If you're an agency or if you're selling a service or you're trying to get more customers, you can create a login for that SaaS tool. And then when people log in, you can collect the leads from there inside your database. Then once people log in, they get a custom dashboard. You can see here, for example, this person is plugging in their macros, hitting generate, and then from there they get a custom made meal plan, right? And this actually looks better than a lot of apps I've seen out there for meal plans and calories and that sort of thing. You can even log your weight progress, etc. right? Now, something like that is going to take a lot more back and forth of this outside the scope of this video, but you can see how powerful this is, right? That might take you a whole weekend, but you can create your own tools. You can authenticate them. You can create apps in second. You create apps in minutes. We can actually test this out ourselves here. So if we click on the example, we can sign in or sign up. So let's sign up right here. And then we can get a customized meal plan based on this, right? And this is a custom made dashboard built for us. So the things you can do with Lovable are really inspiring, to be honest. And it's something I've never seen before. I've not really tested Bolt. But I think inside Bolt, you can do the same thing. So you can see here, for example, you can connect to Superbase. And I think it just depends on your preference, right? I mean, if you want to create more stuff for free, Bolt is probably going to have more flexibility there. If you want to have more custom made templates, you can actually see all these projects right here from different creators. Like, for example, that's created five seconds ago, eight seconds ago. And then you can get, number one, more ideas on what works and what doesn't. But number two, if you go into these tools, if we go into here, for example, we can actually edit someone else's project, create a clone of it, like you can see with this dumpster tracker, right? Totally random. 
And then from there, you can actually create your own edits, remix it and deploy it. And then you can build on other people's apps, which is pretty amazing as well. So it's more, it's got more of a community vibe. Like you can re edit and remix other people's stuff. Whereas inside Bolt, I don't see that option. In Bolt, it's more you doing your own thing here. You're just cracking on with it in monk mode. The way that I see 2025 going is there's going to be a lot more people making their own tools and their own apps, custom made to whatever you want. So before you would have to download an app from the app store or build a website based on another template. Now you have the flexibility and freedom to just do what you want. And that way you can create apps, tools, websites, etc. that are custom made to you. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free SEO course with over 200 AI SEO tutorials on SEO link building, keyword research, custom GPTs, quality control. There's also a whole section on lovable, including many different prompts, techniques, etc. that you can use to grow your website, to get more leads, traffic, sales of SEO. So feel free to check that out along with all these different Bolt tutorials and case studies that I've done to rank. And additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to check that out. Link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.